Imagine being able to send a message simply by thinking it. This isn't science fiction. I, assisted brain, computer interfaces for communication are rapidly making it a reality. Welcome to our channel, where today we're diving deep into this transformative technology that promises to revolutionize the way we interact with the world. If you find this topic as fascinating as we do, make sure to hit that subscribe button, like the video, and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update on groundbreaking technologies. Plus, we'd love to hear your thoughts, so don't forget to leave a comment below. Let's start by understanding the core concept. Brain, computer interfaces or BAKESES are systems that create a direct communication pathway between the brain and an external device. By interpreting brain signals, these systems can translate thoughts into actions without physical movement. This technology is especially groundbreaking for individuals with severe paralysis or communication disorders, offering them a new avenue for interaction. Now, where does A come in? Artificial intelligence enhances BCs by interpreting the complex signals from the brain more accurately and efficiently. Imagine the brain as a vast, intricate network of electrical signal. Decoding these signals into meaningful commands is no small feat. AI algorithms can analyze patterns in brain activity, learning to distinguish between different thoughts and intentions with a high degree of accuracy. This enhances the overall functionality and usability of BKIS. Let's break it down further with a real-world example. Consider a person with ALS, a disease that gradually paralyzes the body while leaving the mind fully alert. Traditionally, communication for such individuals has relied on eye-tracking systems or other limited methods. However, with eye-assisted pieces, they can now compose text messages, control a computer cursor, or even speak through a synthetic voice by merely thinking about these actions. This leap in communication is not just about convenience. It's about restoring a fundamental human ability, the ability to connect with others, to understand the mechanics that explore how a typical A-assisted BC works. The process begins with placing electrodes on the scalp or, in more invasive methods, implanting them within the brain. These electrodes pick up electrical signals generated by neuron activity. Next, these raw signals are processed and filtered to remove noise and focus on the relevant data. Here's where I comes into play. Machine learning algorithms interpret these filtered signals, identifying patterns corresponding to specific thoughts or commands. Over time, the AE system becomes more accurate as it learns from previous interactions, creating a personalized model of the user's brain activity. One of the most exciting aspects of this technology is its potential for continuous learning and adaptation. Neural networks, a type of A, are particularly adept at recognizing patterns and can improve their accuracy over time. For example, if an initial attempt to think the word hello results in an error, the system receives feedback and adjusts its interpretation. This iterative process gradually refines the BC's accuracy, making the communication process smoother and more intuitive for the user. Beyond individual use cases, I, assisted BCs hold enormous potential for broader societal impacts. For instance, in the realm of healthcare, these interfaces can facilitate better patient-caregiver communication, improving overall care quality and patient experience. In education, they can enable students with disabilities to participate more fully in classroom activities. Even in the workforce, BCs can open up new possibilities for employment for those who might otherwise be limited by physical constraints. Now, you might be wondering about the ethical considerations. Indeed, the development and deployment of A-assisted BCs must be approached with caution. Privacy is a significant concern since these systems can access and interpret brain activity, safeguarding against unauthorized access and ensuring data privacy is paramount. Additionally, the potential for misuse, such as fault surveillance or coercive uses of the technology, must be carefully regulated. Ethical frameworks and robust legal protections will be essential to ensure that this technology benefits humanity without infringing on individual rights. The journey of I, assisted BCs is one of collaboration between neuroscientists, engineers, ethicists, and healthcare professionals. 
Each plays a vital role in advancing the technology while addressing the associated challenges. Neuroscientists provide insights into brain function, helping to refine the accuracy of signal interpretation. Engineers develop the hardware and software that make the interfaces practical and user-friendly. Ethicists ensure that the advancements respect human dignity and privacy, while healthcare professionals integrate the technology into patient care practices. Let's delve into some specific examples of AI assisted B, assisted currently in development or use. One notable project is Neuralink, founded by Elon Musk. Neuralink aims to create a high bandwidth brain machine interface that can facilitate direct communication between humans and computer. The company has made significant strides in developing ultra thin electrodes that can be implanted into the brain with minimal risk. These electrodes are designed to pick up neural signals with high precision, which are then decoded by sophisticated A algorithms. The potential applications range from medical rehabilitation to enhancing cognitive abilities. Another exciting example is the work being done at the University of California, San Francisco, where researchers are developing a speech neuroprosthesis. This device decodes neural signals associated with speech production and translates them into text or synthesized speech. The A algorithms used in this project are trained to recognize the unique patterns of brain activity associated with different phonemes, the basic units of speech. By mapping these patterns to corresponding sounds, the system can effectively speak the user's thoughts, providing a voice to those who cannot speak. In addition to these high-profile projects, there are numerous other initiatives exploring various aspects of A-assisted BC. For instance, researchers at Harvard University are working on non-invasive BCs that use functional near-infrared spectroscopy, or FNIRs, to monitor brain activity. Unlike traditional methods that rely on electrical signals, FNIRs measures changes in blood flow and oxygenation levels in the brain, offering a different approach to interpreting neural activity. I algorithms then process this data to decode the user's intentions, providing a less invasive alternative to traditional BCs. Despite the exciting progress, there are substantial challenges to overcome. One major hurdle is the issue of signal noise. The brain's electrical activity is incredibly complex, and distinguishing meaningful signals from background noise is a significant challenge. Advances in AE are helping to address this issue, but there is still much work to be done to improve the accuracy and reliability of BEKs. Another challenge is user adaptation. Learning to use a BC effectively requires time and practice. Just as learning a new language or skill requires training, so too does mastering a BC. I, I can assist in this process by adapting to the user's unique neural patterns, but user motivation and persistence are crucial factors in achieving successful outcomes. Moreover, the durability and longevity of implanted devices are concerned. The brain is a delicate organ, and any foreign object, no matter how advanced, must be biocompatible and durable enough to function over long periods. Researchers are exploring innovative materials and designs to address these concerns, but achieving long-term reliability remains a significant challenge. Looking ahead, the future of AI-assisted BCs is incredibly promising. As technology continues to advance, we can expect to see even more sophisticated interfaces that offer seamless, intuitive communication. Imagine a world where individuals with disabilities can communicate as easily and naturally as anyone else, where people can control devices and interact with their environment simply by thinking, and where the boundaries between human and machine are increasingly blurred. In summary, I, assisted brain, computer interfaces for communication represent a remarkable fusion of neuroscience and technology. By harnessing the power of artificial intelligence, these systems offer new hope for individuals with communication challenges, opening up possibilities that were once confined to the realm of science fiction. As we continue to explore and refine this technology, we move closer to a future where thoughts are not just confined to our minds, but can be shared and acted upon with unprecedented ease and accuracy. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the future of communication. 
If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated on more cutting-edge technologies, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell. And we'd love to hear from you. Share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Until next time, keep thinking forward.